Hey there, good morning, Secret Gold Hunters. It's been a while. Bottom trying sake of gold. We'll see you later. There are many reasons why I haven't been posting for a while. I've got over them while we're doing this video. Today I was going to show you a new piece of equipment, a salam, which we've got set up in the forest water over here. And I'll talk to you about the mechanics of this in a little while, but what I've got in here is a fluid bed trap. Uh, Class it's a classifier, so maybe I can make a green mountain. Essentially, it's a double chambered sluice with this classifier on the top, a collection changer at the bottom. Now, I was going to run this through a deposit that I know has gold in to do a proper test, however, uh, we could go surfing on some of these, so we can't get to the deposit we want to get to. However, I've come down to Gravel Bar. On the gravel bar, we have these very dark, iron rich pockets of sand in the of these boulders. It looks to me like it's been worked quite hard here. However, I've just done a pan, and I think you can probably see at the back there, there's some gold in there. So, we're going to run this. Two buckets in, I thought we'd have a little look at how this thing works. So what we've got here, essentially, the sluice found the sluice. In the top sluice, we have a, a grizzly, a classifier, and under that grizzly there is a hole. And uh, the material comes down here, washing as it goes. The material comes slides away. Washing as it goes. The gold and the heavies fall through the grizzly into the chamber below and the stuff that you don't want, the bigger rocks, the washed rocks flow off the top of the end. One that is immediately clear from doing this, so you can see it is, the gold bar we're working is underneath some trees. There's a lot of uh, organic material in there. What I'm finding is I'm having to clean off the top of the uh, grizzly fairly frequently and Clogging up the guys that have to the tree and root and stuff. So the bottom one, same beginning of the chamber, but the sluice run essentially, but it's pipe. And then at the end, at the end, the end of it, there are two pipes. The pipes lead all the way into this box. I'll show you inside the box when I do my first clean out. And in the bottom of the pipe, there are holes. So the water's being pressurised as it comes down the sluice, being forced through the holes and jets, and it's agitating material in the box. Much like a hydraulic rifle does, you might see on Gold Rush or anything like that. What first going is forcing the light material up, it's getting blown out, and you can actually see it being blown out across the white bar at the front. I don't know if that's coming out on camera, but I can see it on my own little bits of the material coming out. And then the theory is the gold and the heavier sinks the bomb. It's got a very clever way of cleaning it out. After this 44 buckets, I'm going to take it out and show you how exactly that works. The last four buckets run, take me 15 minutes. Uh, four unclassified buckets, fine, but we're gonna have a clean out and see how it's, uh, let's see how it's doing. Where I take the clean out is in the corner here, there's a pen. I pull it out and just pull the box out. I will, later on, I'll actually take the sluice out of the water and show you all exactly how the little box works. But uh, I'm gonna take it out now and uh, put it in a pan and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the material looks like. All the fine stuff. It's really loose, so the pipes are doing their job. Here's the pipes. If they come in, you just about to see the holes in there as well. I'm going to tip this into a pan, which is supposed to be very easy. I'll be the judge of that and uh, see how that goes. So, 
just starting to rain, so it seems like a good time to uh, to do this. So theoretically, it should just be that, and it really is just that. All comes out instantly. That's quite impressive. So I'll uh, I'll pan that out a little bit, and then I'll show you if I find any gold. Okay, very impressed. There's lots of gold in here for four pans and 54 buckets in 15 minutes. We'll be seeing plenty of colours at the top there. I hope you are too. So all the way through there, there's probably about 40 colours there, you know. One okay little flake at that end. Lots of micro gold, but it clearly works. That's super impressive. So I reckon I could do 12 to 16 buckets an hour. That's going to put a good, good take of gold in at the end of the day if I stay on the gold. The material I'm running is unclassified and uh, there's a reason for that and a reason I'm trying out these new technologies. This is also part of the reason I haven't been posting online much recently. Uh, back in the autumn I got a diagnosis of osteoarthritis which is a hereditary condition which, is, which means that my cartilage is very quickly diminishing between my joints. This means, along with a lot of lifestyle change, weight loss, work change, also means my days of digging holes, especially big holes are numbered. So I'm looking at alternative technologies, one of which this might be, the ways I can do, still do my hobby that has less impact on my body. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of sniping this year, so we'll um, do some videos on that as well. But um, I love being on the side of the river bank, I don't always want to be face down in it. So, um, Hopefully this might be a solution to that problem. It's certainly very quick. You can fill this bucket unclassified in about a minute. I can push it through here in about a minute. I'll try and run some while I'm filming. As you can see, the uh, little pebbles shoot straight over the top. I've deliberately picked a patch of gravel that I think won't clog up too much, although it definitely does clog up. It's nice and easy just to flick the stones off the top of it though. It appears to be doing its job. Um, I'm hoping it's set up right. I will message the guys at Green Mountain with this video. Sorry, I'm hoping I've got it set up right. I will message the guys at Green Mountain with this video. Um, this is literally the first time and I've done it off their video, so we'll see. That, that one I should have washed off first, but no. Um, I'm actually in a little while. Just before I did clean up number two, this bit has cleared, water's cleared quite a lot now. Hopefully you can see what's going on in there. It's kind of like the sort of knee gravel, I suppose you call it. It's, uh, it's the hematite, the magnetite. Hopefully the model is some gold. Uh, just get this out and have a look. It's a little pull back and a bit of clean up at home, but we'll see if we have a little sneaky peek. bucket we'll deal with it when we get back and there you have it first smile of gold of the year There's loads more in the black sand I need to clean when I get home very first rough reveal as you can see the uh, green mountain catches super super fine gold um, probably got a point one I guess it's good enough for the first day out get it sucked up and uh, clean the rest up when we get home just before I leave, here's my hole and my gravel bar. That's what it looked like when it started. Time to have a little tidy up. And that's the after. You leave no trace. The reason I'm doing that here is because there is evidence everywhere of someone running a high banker. The spoil hub piles and great big holes. Some of them are hidden today under the water. But I know who you are who's doing it. If I catch you here doing it, I'll film you and I'll stick it on online so everybody knows that you're doing it. 
So back at Gold Hunter Secret HQ, here's the gold we got today. There's not a huge amount of it, but it's the first gold of the year, so we're going to weigh it. Don't forget, if you like the video, to subscribe, share it with your mates, leave comments below if you've got any questions. I've got a backlog of images and videos from last year that I haven't posted yet. I will get around to it, probably in a montage. Um, Covid and work and a death in the family sort of all got in the way. But I will put a montage or two out to so you can see what I got up to in the end of last year. Here we go now for the weight. Let's hope it's respectable. I don't know why it's gone upside down all of a sudden. That's rather strange, but hey-ho. I think you probably all saw it was about 0 .0, 0 0.038. There you go. Apologies for being upside down. That's a bit strange, but... Uh, is what it is thanks again for watching it's nice to be back on the river it's nice to be back posting a video i look forward to seeing you all very soon